All righty, all done. Let's get this thing torqued down. All right, you guys, I'm sorry you had to see that, but this is a pretty common problem on these Honda D-Series engines. I see guys breaking off these, uh, breaking off these bolts, either just breaking the bolt off itself or stripping the threads out in the cylinder head, just like I just showed you there. So what do you do in this situation? How do you fix that? Am I screwed? Do I need a whole new cylinder head? No, it's honestly pretty easy to fix. So let me show you how to do that real quick. All right, first things first, obviously you're gonna have to take your valve cover back off. Um, and we'll just set that kind of aside for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off our entire rocker assembly here. So it, it's pretty easy. It's not as complicated as you think, but what I like to do is I like to get the valve cover off, pull off the timing cover, the upper timing cover right here, and then put your motor at top dead center. You can see up on the cam, you'll see up on the cam right here, and then you'll also want to line up the two marks on the front of the cam with the cylinder head. And, and if you look, there are actually marks on the back of the cam as well, so that makes it a little bit easier. All right, with the engine at top dead center, uh, we're now gonna go ahead and take off the entire rocker assembly here. It's not any big deal, let me show you how I like to do it. First, break loose the 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, two and then two 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, two. Then I like to take off this upper distributor bolt. It's a 12 millimeter. And then you're going to leave your 12 millimeter socket on and you're just gonna pull off all of these bolts starting from the outside, working your way in. That was the wrong way. Try not to strip these threads. Okay, once you got all those out, what you do is you just grab either end of this rocker assembly here, and you're gonna rock it back and forth, forward, backward, and then you can just lift the entire assembly out, leaving the cam and everything still in the car. So we'll take this inside. We don't wanna do any of this stuff with it on the cylinder head because we're gonna be creating metal shavings and it's really hard to keep track of where all that stuff goes if it's on the cylinder head. So this way, we'll take this rocker assembly off and we'll be able to clean it off thoroughly before we put it back on the cylinder head. All right, let me show you the next steps. Now here's the deal. There are a couple different ways that this can be done. Uh, of course, you can use a helicoil. Uh, and that would, most auto parts stores have helicoils. Uh, just the one thing I don't like about helicoils is you already have to thread and tap the hole. You, almost every time I've used a helicoil, when you go to unscrew that bolt, you take the helicoil out with it. Uh, they're just a, a huge pain in the butt to use. Plus, they're not a very strong fix, and uh, they don't last as long. Um, so, helicoil's not my best friend. This is what I like to use instead here. Again, we already have to thread and tap the hole. We already have to drill and tap the hole. Might as well put something in there that's going to be a way more permanent, way more solid fix. So, check this out. It's called a keen cert right here. Let's see if we're in focus. This thing is called a keen cert. So what it is, it is a M10 by 1.25 thread on the outside, and it is a M6 by 1.0 thread on the inside. Grab that bolt here. So it just happens to be the exact thread, and that just happens to be the exact right thread for the valve cover bolts. And so our original hole was six millimeter. Take a look there. We got six millimeter for our original hole size. We have, we need to go up from six millimeter, but we cannot, well, ideally we wouldn't go any bigger than this kind of inside circle here. You kind of see there's two different uh, circles. This is just kind of the aluminum being worn down from where this little shoulder sets. So you can see the aluminum is kind of worn down right there. So I don't really want to go bigger than that. So let's measure that real quick. Looks like we got pretty much 10 millimeter on the dot. So our M10, i.e. a 10 millimeter thread pitch, Keensert is gonna work 
perfectly. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this real quick. So of course we are gonna need an M10 by 1.25 tap and we are gonna need the drill bit that goes along with it. Uh, in this case for the 1.25 M10, it's gonna be an 11 30 seconds. See if we can get that in focus. 11 30 seconds of an inch drill bit. So we got everything we need right here. Now I got this thing off of here. I'm not just gonna fix the one that I just destroyed. I'm gonna fix all of these because they're all a little bit loosey goosey and sloppy. They're all old. I'm already drilling them. I might as well just go ahead and fix every single one of these just so we don't have any issues with them in the future. All right, I wouldn't worry about too much about oiling this. It's gonna have some residual oil on it just from uh, being inside the cylinder head. So I also don't worry too much right now about the metal shavings because they're just gonna get everywhere. We'll deal with that here in just a minute uh, when we're all done with this. So again, 1130 seconds drill bit, M10 by 1.25 tap. And we're just gonna try to drill this as straight as we possibly can. And what we wanna do is make sure that we go all the way down to the bottom. So again, we're gonna get metal shavings everywhere, but that is okay. Let's try to go as straight as possible. decent pretty well all the way down to the bottom looks good so I'm just gonna give this a little Kind of get some of that stuff cleared out. And then we'll take our nine millimeter socket and our tap and we'll get going on this thing. So same thing with the tap as with the drill bit, try to start this as straight and square as possible. The first little bit is the most important part because that everything else is going to follow. That looks pretty good to me. And I like to stop kind of frequently, turn it backwards. Pull it out and clear out the chips. So you just want to make sure that when you drill, when you drill this hole up, you go as deep as you need to go on the first try. Because if you don't go deep enough, you can't go back and drill it again. You'll destroy the threads that you just created if you try to run the drill down in there. On that same note, make sure you start off nice and straight because you don't want it to bind up in there. You want this pin cert to set all the way down.
starting to bind up a little bit. So we'll back it out. And I'll just stop right there and see if that's deep enough. Kind of feeling like it's done right there, so. Test fit it. All right. And then once it's fully seated, we're just gonna knock these two pins down in there and that will lock this Keensert in from ever coming back out. Sir. Trying to build a car. A car? Yes, sir. What car do you have? Only a couple. You have a huh? You have a no, just for fun. Perfect. All right. Now we just need to do that three more times. And we're all done. All right, guys. That is how easy it is to replace the threads on your, uh, well, your rocker assembly um, when you strip them out. Because inevitably, you're going to strip them out at some point. What's going to happen, invariably, is you're going to take off that valve cover to do something, whether it's just replace your valve cover gasket or whether it's to do something more major, like a head gasket job. And when you're all done and you're buttoning everything back up, you're gonna go to screw that thing down and you're just gonna crank it too hard and you're gonna either break the bolt or you're gonna strip the threads. You're either gonna break the bolt or you're gonna strip the threads out. Happens all the time. So don't let it get you down, it's not a big deal. Super easy to fix. Just head on down to the hardware store, grab you a couple of key inserts, maybe grab like five of them. Here's the problem. They're not cheap, they're about eight bucks a pop, which is no big deal. Uh, if it gets you out of a pickle like this, that's worth every penny of it. Gets you about five of them. That way, next time when you have this problem, it won't be any big deal. You'll have it already ready to go. Looks like this one is a little bit boogered up too. If you have to replace the threads or redo the threads in the cylinder head right here, of course, because the longer bolts that sit at the top of the valve cover are directly into the cylinder head. What you want to do is just clean this area off as best as you can try to get as much residual oil off of this as possible then make a barrier of tape up here that is going to prevent any of your metal shavings from getting down into this hole specifically that drains straight down into the oil pan that is your drain back for your oil you got another one right there right next to where the other threads are right next to where the other bolt hole is so it can be done here on the car if you're doing these top ones. It's not a big deal. Just make sure you do your due diligence, go slow, and uh, do not let any metal shavings get anywhere in this cylinder head. Just be very careful, mask it off really well. Take, spend, spend 15, 20 minutes if you have to, masking the cylinder head off. It's gonna save you from getting those metal shavings down in the engine where you do not want them. All right guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.